guys and welcome back to a new video and today we are checking out the iPhone 12. Okay, let's get to it. Look at this! Wow, okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, and there we go. Oh, oh my god, it is so freaking thin. <laughs> Hold on. Will really reduce the size for this, didn't they? Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Okay, this aside, we're gonna see this now. Wow, okay. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna unbox this. Wow, I'm actually really interested to see how this look because, ooh, wow. Okay, okay, wow, I like this. Okay, it's a very, very, very deep blue. Almost like maybe, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I'm in love. Okay, maybe I should get the blue Pro Max. Wow, wow. Okay, really, one, two. Okay, it's not turned on. Oh my gosh, I love the blue. Now we're gonna turn it on. Oh my god, wait. Oh my gosh. Turn on, please. And then it will appear in different languages. Okay, we're gonna turn it on and set it up and I'll be back in a bit. This blue has a very deep, dark, navy feel. Glossy finish. After touching it for like a few seconds, a few minutes, there's already quite a bit of fingerprints and I'm not really a big fan of it, but I love that it's more squarish and I like that the sides are more easy to grab than the 10. The 10 feels very much more slippery than the 12. It's more likely that I would drop this than this. I love how it feels in my hands. It's about the same size. No, it is slightly bigger than the 10. This is a 6.1 inch display, whereas the 10 is a 5.7, I think. This iPhone 12 comes with a new ceramic shield display on both the front and the back glass and this makes it four times more drop resistant. The SIM card tray moves to the bottom here. The speaker holes are still uneven and this makes me appreciate the symmetry that we have on the iPhone 10. One more thing, the iPhone 12 feels very 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 much like the iPhone 4S which was my very first iPhone so I have the habit of reaching to the top for the power button only to realize that <laughs> it's at the side. I guess old habits die hard. Wow, this is one of the quickest unboxing ever. It basically comes with just the cable, a few paperwork here and the phone and it's really, really minimalistic, I guess. The thinnest box ever of all the Apple boxes here. And now we're gonna take it out for some test run to test out the cameras at night, in the day, and to test out how stable it is because the greatest thing about the iPhone 12 is its camera and of course the display and some other stuff. But the biggest thing, camera, and we're gonna test it out right now. Let's go. So the next half of the video is gonna be filmed entirely on the iPhone 12. This is me bringing the iPhone 12 to the Apple Store on the bay, which is like the floating thing. You guys will see in a second, but first, mask up because COVID. Okay, let's go. That is MBS, and we are gonna test this. And here we are at Apple. This behind me right here is the Apple store that is floating on the waters, and it's my very first time here. It's been open for like the past one or two months, but I am here today because I am checking out the iPhone 12 Pro Max. No iPhone 12 Pro to decide which color I should get and to take this out for a test as well this iPhone 12 beauty to test out the cameras so right now you guys are seeing from the rear cameras using the ultra wide I hope I am in focus and I hope you can see everything we can't actually enter through this run 
we have to go into the shopping center, into the mall, underground, and go underwater to enter this. Yep, let's go. And we are here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow. Oh my gosh, we are in the Apple store and I'm so lucky because I was supposed to come in at 4.30 and now it's like 11, 17 and they let me in because there was people that drop off. So I'm so excited, I'm so excited. We're going up. We are like underground now, under the water and now we're going up. I went directly to check out the iPhones. They don't quite have the Pro Max in stores yet, but I'm here just to see the colors in person to decide what to get for Pro Max. I was introduced to Graphite first, but the Graphite did not really impress me. It looks really similar to the iPad Pro Space Gray. It just wasn't something that stood out that much. But honestly, if they came out with a matte black version instead of graphite, I think I'd go for it. And moving on to the next table where we have every single color, we see the Pacific Blue first. And this definitely looks much better in person than in the pictures. The pictures online in the ads did not do this justice. Not at all. So this really, 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 really made it into my heart. I love the soft touch of blue along the stainless steel sides. And I love that it reflects light when I move it at different angles. It feels so premium and I think I like it a lot. And it's probably one of my favorites. I think you would need to see in person to properly understand what I mean. And next, the goal. Everyone is actually kind of crazy about the goal. I mean, don't get me wrong, the goal is pretty, but it was just okay for me. Maybe because one of my close friends owned the gold iPhone 11 Pro Max, so I'm kind of quite used to how the gold looks like, so it didn't really make it into my heart. But it is still a pretty nice color. Silver! And I finally saw the silver after staring at these three colors for a really long time. And the silver is actually pretty, pretty nice. I am impressed. The silver doesn't feel and look silver, and I think I would call this a frosted white color. My iPhone 10 has a very creamish white color, but this definitely looks more true to white than my iPhone 10. And these are all the color options for the iPhone 12 Pros. I would say the silver is a good competitor with the blue, but the blue wowed me a lot. And I think I really like it a lot. You can see I'm holding it a lot in my hands. And don't worry, you don't have to hear my entire conversation with the Apple staff deciding which color to get. It is a really long conversation and mostly me being indecisive. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. So this is the Apple store and this is the whole thing. We're gonna see everything, everything. Apple's building and architecture and interior design is incredible. The familiar see-through glass windows, and as you look up to the top, you see the white shades that blocks and buffers the sunlight that Singapore famously endures all year round. So even though it was super sunny outdoors, the Apple store didn't feel hot, it feels really really cool. And also, of course, there's AC. So, <laughs> everything on the inside is pretty much the same. There are different sections of wooden tables. We were at the iPhone table previously. Next is the iPads, Macs, iMacs, and the big screen over here with a few square blocks of wood for people to rest. And it's the place for today at Apple when COVID is finally over. And walking, 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 we have the Apple Watches, one of my favorite accessories ever. On the back of this huge screen is a mirror with a glowing Apple logo. And with the mirror, you can actually see what I'm looking at, the CBD skyscraper, Marina Bay Sands, Art and Science Building, the float that usually hosts parades and F1, the Merlion, Esplanade, and the entire boardwalk. Basically, the entire skyline, the view that Singapore is pretty famous for. I 
really like that there's mirrors and glass everywhere so that the space feels bigger, more open and really, really Apple-like. So we have to go out through there. There. Oh, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Guys, can you see? Can you see that I'm actually at Apple? Can you see? Oh, okay, don't drop the phone because like you're next to the sea. Oh, not the sea, like the water. This is the beauty of the Apple store that floats on the water. Look at this. Oh gosh, and the view is awesome. And this ultra wide camera is awesome. I love it. Oh, goodbye. If you're an Apple fan, you'd find everything inside super duper familiar, but it's the outside that looks different, new, and yet blends so well with the background skyscraper. And honestly, I think this is pretty comparable with the Fifth Avenue Apple Store. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, we're still using the front facing. And we are done with this tour. Oh my gosh, guys, I was really, really, really lucky that I got to go in. Apparently, people start queuing to enter since 10 a.m. when the opening time is 11 a.m. Like, why, guys, why? One really, really nice Apple guy told me, okay, girl, you can go in now because someone dropped off the queue and just get in, just get in for the shopping appointment. Thank you so much, whoever you are, letting me in rather than waiting four hours to enter the Apple Store. Thank you! I'm more or less settled with the color. Probably Pacific Blue. But the white, the silver, looks really nice as well. Because the blue color just looks so premium. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I actually do quite like it. <laughs> right now, I'm loving how, how nice this looks. It's really bright now. You can see my face and the background very nicely adjusted the colors. Like, it's not blown out and my face is still in focus. So that's very nice. We're gonna wait till the night to see this place at night and to test out the night cameras, front and back. So don't go away yet, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm ready. Life depends on trying to figure a scribble I could let loose Dodging the dribble that they trying to throw my way I think I figured that them figures out to get you Let them pull So we are at Gardens by the Bay right now and testing out the night shots And I have no idea how it's like because I am filming myself So we'll see I wish life wasn't any other way But it's all side roads to nowhere Front facing I them out my place I love this because it feels like Avatar. But I always want to spend my time. Okay, I still don't like how it looks like in the camera with the night shots on. But I mean, I think it's pretty great. Better, slightly better than my iPhone 10. Yeah. But you still love me, you love me. I'm a star, but you still love me, you love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money. You've been there when the times get ugly. I'm broke. Oh, wait. Shit. It's um, the second verse, right? And it goes like. Welcome to the Helix Bridge. And this is one of my favorite parts of the city because they film Westworld here. And it's really fun. And we're here to test out some night photography. I've been stuck inside this pocket of day. Empty walls and stress. Gotta start smoking this cess. I turn redundant. I'm a con, I'm ignoring myself. Can't stomach her dwelling. She said. Behind me is the Arts and Science Museum. And right there is Marina Basins. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All my problems, but I can't complain. I ain't a man of my own. Ooh. I ain't grown, but wasting my way to progress. Wow, wow. 
this is the front view camera and I'm gonna show you guys what I see in front, which is pretty nice. My world look great, make me laugh when my center is blue. My world's low pockets in these words I make. Yeah, I'm a scrub, but at least I got you. Yeah, at least I got you. And I just wanted to say thank you. Over there we have the CBD and over there we have our MBS. And if you see really, really far, you can see Apple. There. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. I'm a scrub, but you still love me. You love me. Even though I don't make no money, you've been there when the times get ugly. And that's it I for today's video. Say Thank you to Sushi who loaned me her phone to test this out. Let me know if any questions and comment below about this like video quality and everything. But for now, stay with Century and welcome to my home. Bye -bye. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. She's